welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. I'm an SLPA sharing my family, speech, and lifestyle here on YouTube. For this video, I'm going to share with you guys what an afternoon in our life kind of looks like. What it looks like immediately after work. I do have two little ones. I have one who's three years old and then I have my daughter who will be nine months. So that should tell you <laughs> just how busy we are in the afternoons. It's not necessarily schedules and coming from school and then unpacking and soccer practice. It's none of that. <laughs> it's really just meeting their demands. When I'm home, I like to see it sort of like as a transition from whatever the kids are doing, whether that's watching a movie, whether they're playing independently, whether they're taking a nap. When mom's home, it's like, okay, what's next? Are we going to the grocery store? Are we going to grandma's house? Are we going somewhere fun? I do need to mention that I just recently created a sort of winter calendar, winter routine thing for my son. He's three, he just turned three, and he's loving it. Back One minute. I laminated all the sheets and I put the Velcro on the back of the little squares and he gets to choose some days where he wants certain things, if he wants the snack before nap or after nap. I think it's really helped just obviously with the visuals and helped him know, okay, where we are off winter break, now she's going back to work, this is what our days look like. It's helping those sort of bigger transitions. So if you're interested, that's something I will leave in the description of this video below. Back to the outdoor time. I don't get enough outdoor time, I will be the very first to admit. That's something I want to change this year. If you're not familiar with the 1,000 hours outside challenge, a woman on Instagram, she has like a whole thing around it where she's promoting this change in lifestyle sort of thing. Sure, it might be like a 1,000 hours outside challenge and these hours that you should be meeting. But truly, last year when we started, I lost track after 100 hours. It was just a mindset thing. It was more of a shift in our lifestyle and intentionally being outside and choosing to go to the park rather than just coming indoors. Choosing to stay a little bit longer when they're playing on the playground sort of deal, you know? I felt like we started off really, really strong last year. And then when those hot months came in, we didn't <laughs> continue with that challenge. It was just a little too much. <sighs> now that we're back inside. Take them off. Oh, what about your jacket? Let's bring it up to the front door. Please. It's so tiny. Okay, I'll help you out. I want y'all to know, playing with my kids and time with my kids is very, very important to me because of all the hours I work in the school. I want to be home with my babies 24 seven. So when I'm home, I feel like all that time is devoted entirely to them. Once we're done, like with the play for about an hour, an hour and a half, then I really try to prioritize homeschool. I set aside about 15 minutes max, 20, honestly and I'll do some activities with my son. I have a lot of activities and things that I've made on my own. I have a lot of materials that I've gotten off of Amazon, and we really use a lot of the toys that he currently has. Um, we'll do maybe an arts and crafts sort of things, but we do have a letter focus for that week, and maybe we'll discuss like, what's your age, your name, sort of personal information for him to know as well. All right, no more yeah, Mr. Yeah, nice yeah, Guy. Turny, turny. to use Love Every because it's just like developmentally appropriate for her age for sure. Um, it's teaching her like the body parts and it has the like simple words and simple um, pages with pictures to go along with it. Also like wordless books a lot of the times can be really helpful because I just show her and can make up something. Mama, I'm yeah? That does not take any more than 20 minutes, believe me. It's it's fast because, you know, at that age, it's like, they're, they're, mine is not thinking about school. It's 
it's more like play, 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 play. If we're not doing homeschool, then I immediately will jump into our dinner time. And here's where it gets really fun. I also like to really cook. I'll try to include my son. When he was younger, he used to love doing this kind of stuff. He has his own cutting board. He has his own little knife but it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes he'll bring his little tower and ask like, hey, can I help you? Or hey, can I crack the egg? Can I do this? And he will, but it doesn't, again, last very long. <laughs> his attention span is Once we're finished with dinner, then immediately it's going into bath time. Bath time for us is pretty quick. I set a timer. Thankfully, I got that through Love Every. I was very, very excited when that came in our box. You can find these timers also on Amazon. That's something that's been very helpful for us, for him to know when bath time is done. Because if I don't do this timer, y'all, our bath time will last, <laughs> I'm not kidding, like over 30 minutes. We have three more minutes. I'm looking for your towel. This is little towel. This time, like this is a very hard period, especially with two little ones, because my nine-month-old really wants to go to bed around seven. If I put my youngest one to sleep and my toddler's still talking and talking and talking, she'll wake up and be very, very cranky. So we just like to keep her up and they'll go to bed at the same time. I'll also include those five books I'm always talking about. I like to read to my kids, I do. I do try to incorporate it throughout the day. Run the bases in the right order. First, run to first. Second, run to second. Third, run to third. Then run. Now that's gonna be Uh-oh, the light turned blue. Uh-oh. Hi, Revita. How are you? That is the end of this video. I hope you did find this helpful. If you liked my video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. It'll mean so, so much to me. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.